Hey, you guys. So, I'm at work. Face breaking out. And today I really just want to give a few kind words. Um, my words of kindness for today is don't settle for less. That comes with a lot of things. It comes in a lot of errors. Um, throughout my journey of this last year I've been going through, which is 2020, a lot of things is open to my eyes. A lot of things I am aware of. And, yeah. I, um, I don't want anyone to settle for less. If you work in a job you're not sure of, you get the feelings that you know you can find better, do better, and want better. Go out there and find you something better. Find something that fits your personality. Find something that fits you, what you're trying to do, your schedule. Don't just take it because it's a job. Don't settle for less. If you are in a relationship and you have to question where you stand and it brings you more headache than it does any happiness you have more down days than you have up you have no communication and everything about that relationship drains you find something better do not settle for less you are beyond that i say that because i worked a job for two years and it wasn't the greatest the job itself wasn't bad the people could have been better but they weren't coming into last year with all i've been through at that job even though we switched over to a new company and it was the same bs i had to realize within myself that i was better than the situation i was in i didn't have to take that situation so i relocated when I relocated, I didn't like my relocation. So I kept relocating until I found something that fit me. Coming into 2021, I am working. Ultimately, I want to be my own boss, which is my goal. But while I'm working and making a better future for myself, I'm using this time to get me together. If it doesn't fit me i will not hold on to it if it doesn't go within everything i have going on it doesn't fit or i don't get the right vibes from it i will not stay i am not in a relationship for those same reasons i don't feel like i sh should have to subject myself to i shouldn't have to dim my light to make anyone I lights brighter if we can't shine together, then there's no need for me to be in the same room. Don't let that go over your head. Sometimes we need our own space. Sometimes we need our own joy. And because I've been dating myself for this last year and I've been taking time out to read the signs of the universe and my guidance. And when I go wrong, those messages, those back of the mind consciousness i've been in tune with all of that so a lot of things has been coming gracefully to me any negative energy or bad signals i get i drop whatever it is that gave me that signal i know some say when it comes to love that it's self-sabotage but honestly if i do not walk away from those situations i find myself in deeper situations and now that i have the ability to literally walk away when it doesn't fit me i'm okay with that i am gracious of it in that aspect it brings me to knowing when to leave the state the state no longer fits me i did find a job that i am comfortable with if it's within me and i actually like it they do have sites outside of michigan so my goal is to get to Arizona or close to Arizona as I possibly can. My objective is to learn all the skills I need so that I don't leave here with the same mentality. I know that I want to go to school, so going out there, I would need to work 
a job where I can work overnight so that in the morning I can go to school and my kids can go to school and I can spend some time with them during the day. I don't want to leave Michigan with that same workaholic mentality. I don't want to just make ends meet just because that's what I have to do. It must fit my spirit, my lifestyle, my schedule, everything I have going on within my world. It must fit. This is why I tell you guys, do not settle for less. Know that you need better. Know what your better is to yourself. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. As long as you're proving that you're better than what you used to be to yourself, that's all that matters. I still want to be a motivational speaker. But I want to speak to the youth because it's not a lot of people taking the time out to pay them any attention. And most of us are just letting them grow up with just being and... I force minds to be different for a reason, and I feel like if I could force, I'm not saying force in the way of making them, but I challenge them to be different. They are to be whoever it is that they want to be freely. I do not judge my children or whatever decisions they decide to make. I do not make decisions for them. I give them room so they can make it. I let them communicate whatever it is they want to communicate so that when it's time for them to make executive decisions, they can follow their own mind, spirit, and guidance to do what it is that's best for them. I feel like I have the means and the challenges and the wisdom to help our youth get to where they need to be, which is why I say to everyone, don't settle for less. By all means, do what's best for you, do what's great for you, do what challenge to make you better. Before I go, I have to say this little brief detail. Outside of working at that job for two years, I got a job at the end of last year, like in December of last year, and everything about that job told me don't stay. Now, how I got the job was through a former friend, an old co-worker. I used to work with a guy that was from my neighborhood. He posted it on Facebook and me being where I was at another job, not making any hours or getting any money, I took it. It wasn't a bad job. It's just the environment and the people made it what it was. And like I said, I went in and everything about that job told me this is not for me. Ultimately, some things happened to where I had to walk away from that job, which was the signs from the universe letting me know I needed not to put myself in those predicaments. Because I walked away, I walked away for a very valid reason. It was for a good thing. I'm glad I did walk away because there was a lot of racism going on. There was a lot of slavery in my eyes going on. He was working all these hours and doing this physical hard job just to get paid nothing. I am beyond that. I know my standards. I know my means. I know where I stand. I will not allow myself to be treated anything less. So with that, I say, live to your means. Understand when you are greater. Be better. Do better for yourself. With that being said, I am going to have a good day. As you can hear in my background, I am at work. So as I always tell you guys, be blessed, stay positive, have a wonderful day.